How do we start this off? Flight tails. Yeah. Woo. There you go. <laughs> He'll edit. This is how our videos go too. I yes. Yeah. One hundred percent. I feel like for like the like you know five minute videos, I would believe like two to three hours. Yeah. Yeah. I that get is stuck. probably my favorite. I get stuck on words and then. You know, it doesn't sound right, and I got to keep doing it. And then he throws papers. and Yeah. That I, is- I, we need another camera, and we've talked about this before, but we need another camera facing him, mm. Pro Dustin. Yeah. We need another camera facing him so you can see him throwing papers. and. Oh, I would love to see that footage. Yeah. I'd absolutely love that. Yeah. Well, I, I mean, some of the words you say, I'm just like, yeah, I couldn't say that. It's like the reading in class and like, okay, you're going to read the next section. I'm like, we'll read before that. <laughs> We're here with Alexander Ross. Hey. Hi. Hey. <laughs> and this is Jake's wife, who was supposed mm-hmm. to come last week. That's my week. husband. <laughs> yep. Jake's her husband. Yeah. I had to think about that one. <laughs> also my wife yeah <laughs> well we get to hear your side of the story okay but we've been starting like with jake we started way back oh well he was a marine you can tell us the other story that okay. uh well i need a bit more i don't context. know if you want to tell that that story before you met him how oh, you got a scar but oh. <laughs> <laughs> but you want to hear my my better <laughs> your, version <laughs> yeah your version we didn't ask him about that part so <laughs> we could just really that in in this one he got that scar yeah from ear to ear yeah <laughs> because he decided to be a hoe and protect some woman's <laughs> life and that's really not what happened at all you're gonna tell me some small guy sucker punch you like that's what you want to yeah, go with? Yeah, I mean, you got to uh, elaborate and say, right. like, you know, exaggerate, say, and just be some big guy. Yeah, and particularly, like, no, like, just some small guy. Got he was six me. four, way, yeah. way taller than me, you know? Right. And I'm like, no, the, someone broke a bottle over your head, because that makes the most sense. Yeah. It's a bar fight. Yeah. You're going to tell me you went outside like a, like a <laughs> cool-headed guy? <laughs> yeah, right. Who's going to believe that? <laughs> Everyone who ever meets Jake. I'm like, oh, yeah. yeah, that makes sense. Yeah. Well, I'm surprised you're not the one who broke up the fight. Me on the other hand, I'm like, bottle, overhead, <laughs> blood everywhere. Yeah. Head ripped, eyes just popping out. <laughs> He's like, that's not what happened. I'm like, really? That's what I heard. I heard that you were trying to protect some stupid girl. That's not me. And people loved it because they're like, oh, you must, this is why you must be take so offense because you guys were together. I'm like, no, we weren't together. No. Whatsoever. Yeah. I didn't know who he was. Uh-uh. I don't know what even what year this happened. Probably like nineteen something. Nineteen something. <laughs> Golly, <laughs> they just opened. They just really created bars. Yeah, <laughs> the prohibition just ended. You're from Georgia, right? Correct. Okay, so I know that much. And a long lasting friendship this is. <laughs> yes, and you work at the tower in That's Lafayette, correct. and then I know you ended up at the. I I don't even know the what's the what's the name of the college that you went to. Middle Georgia's Middle- State. University yeah. now. It's changed names. And that's times. where you met Jake. That is where I met Jake. So let's start where, like, before you went to college, how'd you decide to go there? And we don't have to hear about your childhood. <laughs> now, where do I start? <laughs> <laughs> I was five years old. Yeah. <laughs> um, it is helpful to give you some background. I was born born in Georgia, but raised some parts in Alabama, Birmingham, okay. Alabama, while my dad was a controller at Birmingham. Tower. Oh, okay. I didn't know he was. Oh, yeah. So my dad's also a controller. Okay. Um, and then he that got makes pi- sense now. Now it's starting to line up. <laughs> <laughs> and he got picked up for A80, which is Atlanta Tracon. Okay. So we all moved as a family. Yeah. Because, you know, he can't go by himself with yeah. three kids and a yeah. wife. Yeah. <laughs> what? So I know. <laughs> Couldn't leave them home. Yeah. <laughs> this is, it's just a small commute. And we moved to Atlanta so okay. around like my 10th birthday. So from 10 to like 18, you, you grew know. Grew up in Atlanta. Grew up in Atlanta. Hot Atlanta. Hot Atlanta, baby. <laughs> um, very cool kid. Stayed nowhere near Atlanta. <laughs> oh, okay. Okay. <laughs> I went to like baseball games, but like that was just, yeah. it was not like a big party kid. Uh, I was very you were cool. stay at home? I would stay at home and I played, in a, I would play in sports. A Oh. In, my, in my room, <laughs> in your room, and I just yeah. like, dear diary, <laughs> yeah. wish I had friends this weekend. Not yet, though. <laughs> Getting close. And then I became a controller. Yeah. <laughs> so. This is the, the psychological mind frame of what yeah. it takes. Growing up, you know, my dad, I knew my dad, what he did. I'm 10, and when we moved to Georgia, 9-11 happens like a year or two later. Oh, okay. So- I knew when I got home from school early, and I grew up in a big Delta community. So a lot oh, of, yeah, a lot Atlanta. Of, yeah, yeah, a lot of pilots, uh, pilot kids, and like their parents just like either were flight attendants or pilots or mechanics for Delta. 
around 9-11, you know, all that stuff happens. I come home. My dad is just distraught. And I knew he was in aviation. But, you know, you're a child. Like, you don't really understand what your parents do. Yeah. I knew my mom worked at a hospital doing something to help people breathe. I knew my dad worked with airplanes. And that's about it. Like, yeah. I, we would go to the Tower Cab a lot in Birmingham. And we would talk to aircraft because it was before, you know. You would hear like, security and stuff. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> well, security. <laughs> You've got a badge. Yeah. There wasn't really anything like I really knew was going on. Yeah. Fast forward in life, angsty teen. You know, I don't want to do anything that like someone in my family is doing. Yeah. My parents are doing this. I don't want to do Right. That. So that like cuts out the medical field. Yeah. Cuts out aviation. I have a sister who's like in law school and a sister who's a teacher. Oh. What the hell am I going to do with yeah, my life? Yeah, there's nothing else. Like, I'm going to be an engineer? Yeah. I can barely do math. Yeah. Like, what? <laughs> there's there's no engineering in my future. There's no... Well, I was like, okay. So, I go to, like, Mississippi State, and I just party. Oh, that sounds great, actually. <laughs> I mean, it was a lot of fun. I, You know, and I'm trying trying to figure out, like, wh- who I want to be and what I want to be. Yeah. I, like, get into the physical therapy program, and I just can't convince myself, like, this is... Yeah, you weren't enjoying it. it at yeah. all. Yeah. It was my summer going to, like, my... Either my junior year or my senior year, my dad's like, listen, there's a flight school that just opened in Georgia. It's got ATC. It's got pilot stuff. It's going to be fun. Just yeah. give it a shot. I was like, mm, I don't know. He's like, well, you're pro- you probably can't get in. I was like, huh. yeah. okay. Yeah, okay. He, yeah. Okay. He's like, there's Challenge a- accepted. Right. He's like, there's a 400-point <laughs> map test that you've got to memorize. And you've got to, you know, be able to tell them where those points are. Yeah. And it's just like a really tough program. And I was like, can't be that tough. Yeah. And he's like, well, then just apply and see. Yeah. So reverse psychology worked (laughs) wonders on me. (laughs) Um, And so I did that, got into the program. And I then I moved from Starkville, Mississippi to Eastman, Georgia. That's where the. And that's where the school is. um, Because the main campus is in Macon. And then the flight school was like South, South Georgia, that mm-hmm. way. So, Those weird aviation kids didn't mess with the, the cool kids. <laughs> oh, yeah. I thought it was all together. Oh, so because I'm going back on what Jake said, because sure. he was talking about how, I, I guess at the airport, he was saying how helicopters and airplanes. And he right. was talking about the hangar, I guess. All the flight program was there. So we had like a tower cab. We had light like, sims, and then we had all like the mechanics. Like they yeah. were all in one school. Okay, but we were a separate campus from like the main you people were getting like their oh, bachelor's okay. degree, yeah. okay. and, like business. And the whole idea was, hey, this is a two year program. Yeah, you just get your associates, get like the get the little, you got it. Mm-hmm. Uh, air traffic management degree. Get your ass out of the school. Go to Oklahoma. Get hired by the FAA and become a controller. Mm-hmm. No boys. Got it. Got it, Dad. <laughs> no boys. That was, that was his plan. Huh? <laughs> that was his plan. Yeah. And it was working very well. And then I met Jake. Oh, okay. <laughs> and I didn't like Jake at first. Well, it's not that I didn't like him. He yeah. Was Who's incredible... li- I mean, he's no. Right? Yeah. <laughs> I was taking this very seriously. I was not a big student, like a studier. Yeah. All through high school and college. So this, but this, you were really studying This, hard. I was really yeah. studying. This, like, I really cared about, but. It was like Super Bowl. So I was like, oh, just come, like, you know, meet some more people. Like, okay, fine, whatever. And so I'm sober. I'm like, yeah. this is. <laughs> I'm sober. I'm so- this, this sucks. <laughs> yeah, this, like, this does suck. And then Jake is like, he's just drunk. He's yeah. drunk as a skunk. Oh. And he's just like, hey, I was like, no. <laughs> no. Nah, no. not bad. <laughs> yeah. Leave me alone. I'm like sitting on like a, it's like a love seat. So it's like a two person yeah. couch. And, yeah. I'm, and I'm like sitting with my feet up. So nobody would sit next no, to you? Sits, yeah. on, sits on my feet. Oh, does he? <laughs> like, would it leave me alone? I was like, dude, yeah. leave me alone. Yeah. He's like, I just like, I want to sing you a song because I don't want to hear a song from you. <laughs> <I don't right?"> hear. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, what about, so I like, I left early. I was like, okay, like this is fun. Yeah. Um, And then I see him walking to class one day. And, and like that's what turned And then, on. And then and he was tur- sober at that time. He was sober. Yeah. And, <laughs> and then like, I always tell like him he walking. He remembered. He remembered you, I guess. Cause he, I guess. Yeah. Cause, I don't remember. I don't remember if he remembers me. Yeah. Yeah. Um, but uh, he wasn't that drunk. He was pouring shots into a Corona. Oh, okay. <laughs> okay. Man, <laughs> he's, he's, I don't think he was at the Christmas party. Where was this Jake at the Christmas this, party? This <laughs> is like young Jake. Yeah, okay. This is like 20 something year old Jake. <laughs> he's like, I love that I said that. Um, <laughs> I bet he will. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, who? Because I would watch him do that in the kitchen. I was like, what are you, how drunk are you trying to get, dude? Yeah. You know, again, like I just left like a part, like not a huge party school. I know the school is notorious for partying, but like a a bigger school where yeah. people partied. 
And I've never seen anyone pour a shot. Now, maybe I'm oblivious. Yeah. That's very much. Well, you could have been drunk, too, and just didn't. Didn't know. Yeah. Which is home probably where pouring <laughs> shots into my beer. I wouldn't know. Yeah. The idea is like all of this is like a stepping stone school. Like you do this, you do a two year degree, you get into the real world and now you're something in aviation. They're like, why are you taking this so seriously? Yeah. Like, oh, sorry guys. I thought we were. I thought <laughs> we were here to. thought we were trying to do something. <laughs> yeah. Y'all got together and then, mm -hmm. and then you were doing the ATC stuff. And yeah. then at what point did he get involved with you with the ATC stuff? So my last semester, that's like the best way to phrase it. Cause again, two year program. Yeah. Um, Going to my senior I, He must have almost been finished or he was- Yeah, yeah. so he was working okay. on his CFI, maybe his CFII. And when we studied together, mm -hmm. he would get this big whiteboard out and he would try to teach me oh, yeah. that he could practice. Yeah. So that practice. was really cool. Yeah. Because yeah. I also, I have no idea what you're talking <laughs> yeah. about. I'm sorry, a what? A what helicopter? <laughs> yeah. Never heard of her. <laughs> Never heard of her. <laughs> <laughs> what y'all do? And so my senior semester, they brought all of us, all the ATC students into an assembly room. It's like, hey, the FAA is no longer- doing a direct hire from the CTI programs. Okay. Yeah. So all over the country. Yeah. They're now doing they're hiring straight like strictly off the street. And so you're like Right. And <laughs> yeah. one more semester. And I'm just yeah. like I have no degree at <laughs> yeah. this point. So like this is like this is my only degree. And I was yeah. like, well I can't stop now. Like, there's no way they're going to so I that's why I finished the program. Like, there's no way they're going to just like keep this trajectory. This doesn't have legs. Like sure hire people off the street as well. Yeah, along with college. As long, along with people who like went to school to yeah. do this. Jake's apartment was really close to the campus. And I went to his apartment. I was like, I just can't believe like I'm so distraught. Like this is the information I got. And now like, what do I do? Yeah. Like I'm going to graduate the end of this semester with a degree in air traffic management. Yeah. Yeah. What? <laughs> Where do I go what, from here? Right. I was like, yeah. And I, I worked uh, when I was at state, I worked in like the career office. So like I knew how to like finesse my resume enough to like make it worthwhile. I could spin it. Yeah. But still at some point it's air traffic management. Yeah. Like management. We're like, oh yeah, I can do like anything. But I really have a <laughs> lot of knowledge. You got specific. <laughs> yeah. yeah. I've really got a lot of knowledge about aviation law. Yeah. And like meteorology. Yeah. I finished the program, but at, at that point, so let's say that January 1st, you know, last semester, the spring, February comes out and they do the biographical questionnaire. The bio oh, yeah. Yeah. That's he kind of was it, talking about that where it's like uh, the moon's full and there's three oranges. So, right. Right. <laughs> Some and, kind of crazy and just like, OK, like, you know, were you a good student? Y you know, like, yeah, that's yes or no. <laughs> OK. Were you an A student, a B student or a student? Like. And, and like in high school, like why does this matter? Yeah, this has yeah. no like relevance over my life right now. But again, they're hiring off the street. Yeah. So you were as a college or as a high school graduate could apply for this job. Yeah. Controllers at like big facilities were failing this bio -key. Oh, really? So like this wasn't even they they it's like they just kind of just rolled some dice and made oh, some questions. Made and, it up. Yeah. <laughs> entirely made it up. You're just like, oh, cool. Yeah. I can't wait to get in, except <laughs> yeah. I can't. And it's like a five hundred question test. Now a four hundred point map I can like focus on. Yeah. A five hundred question test, I'm gonna stop reading these questions yeah. at some point. Yeah. And I'm not gonna be consistent. It's time. Right. It is time. Okay. So, so like, you got to get through 500 questions and yeah. And, that's... You, and, you, and they want you to be consistent. And that's all they're looking for. But it's like that mentality of like when you're like, you don't know, you didn't study for a test. Like, I'll just pick C for all of them. Yeah. Like, you know, you're not going to do well. Yeah. So this doesn't feel like the time. Like, we'll just pick C for all of them. Yeah. <laughs> because obviously C could change. Yeah. When I took it. And I was like, Jake, do me a solid. You take it as well. He's like, well, he's like, well, worst case scenario. You get something, you say no thanks. Like, yeah. Not a big deal. Like, I know your aspirations. Yeah. We'll, we'll go forward yeah. in life. <laughs> he takes it. He fails it as well. Okay, great. Not great, but like, you yeah. know, <laughs> yeah. whatever. Yeah. Look, I don't feel as stupid now. Right. Yeah. You're also yeah. dumb. Yeah. yeah. And together that's we're right. dumb together. Yeah. <laughs> and that's how our marriage started. Yeah. <laughs> um, so, you know, we, we do this to BioQ. We, we both get like, hey, rejection letters. Great. Okay. Um, we graduate from college. Mm -hmm. I get a job as a contractor for the FAA and I'm now working at FAA headquarters. In oh, Atlanta. really? Yeah. 
and Jake stays on at the school to be a flight instructor. That's in Georgia? Mm-hmm. Okay. So there's different service areas. So, so like, a, okay, I was thinking, I was thinking Oklahoma City, but. Yeah. Yeah. No. Uh, so headquarters is in D.C. for the FAA. Yeah. Um, and then they have like different uh, service areas. I'm probably going to like bugger this all up. Um, Eastern, Central, and then Western. Okay. And so the Central one's Fort, Fort Worth, Texas. Yeah. And the Eastern one's in Atlanta. Okay. And so my dad was working at Quality Assurance and Runway Safety. Yeah. So a little nepotism, but not like enough because I had to get hired with a contractor. And yeah. then from the contractor, I got hired with the FAA. Okay. So I was like the secretary to runway safety and quality assurance. Yeah. Okay. And that's where I met the lady who came up with the bio Oh, oh, what? Oh, I didn't know you met her. <laughs> she was like part of this, um, this How- group so you met her so uh was she off a little bit or like i mean because this sounds like this test is kind of right it's wonky right yeah, it's yeah. uh it doesn't make any sense and it doesn't help that later on once you get like hired after you pass like, a certain test you do an mmpi which is a psyche valve which is also a very crazy test oh. so you're just gonna like do you not want us? Yeah. <laughs> we may be a little crazy, yeah. but either you want us to come work or you don't. Yeah. So when I met the lady that helped formulate the bio keel, she she's a little cold, but it was a strategic. Now again, this is kind of like scuttlebutt. Yeah. So like this is just the rumors I heard there. So it's like they were trying to do a demographic push for hires. Oh, okay. So it at some point it didn't matter what you how you answered it's what you put at the beginning like you know my name is Denise Ross I went to this school I was part of affiliated with these programs yeah and that's really what kind of oh, okay. got you through which is annoying because yeah. again if controllers at that are active controllers are not passing yeah yeah what's the point of the test well what so why did they have active controllers take the test? i thought it was an entry test they were just curious the controllers oh okay where you know let's see how our test goes yeah yeah i don't think the fa asked these controllers to do it the controllers oh. are just kind of like oh they, can i can yeah. i do this because they're a bunch of competitive assholes yeah so okay. <laughs> <laughs> right, so i'm not going to go take a test now i'm yeah. like no i'm in <laughs> yeah i'm good now yeah. i got i made it i made it y'all yeah. can <laughs> move on with life yeah. Um, but at this time, I think because it was such a new way of hiring that these controllers were like, hmm, let yeah. me see what this test is all about. Yeah. Because it was, it was open for like about a week because each um, time they do a kind of like a, a hiring, they'll like open it for a week or so. And that's what these controllers are like, oh, well, if I, I've heard this test is really crazy because so-and-so's kid, let's just see if so-and-so's kid is like stupid yeah <laughs> and so they take it like actually this test was real <laughs> real dumb yeah so okay so after that <laughs> where'd so, you go so after that uh jake got a job so by that point jake was getting pushed out of our flight school because you'd only be a flight instructor for so long i think like a oh, year yeah, or two that's, yeah i remember him saying right that, yeah uh, which is smart because there are other cfi cf double eyes who need a job and yeah this is that's how it's supposed to work yeah in my mind that makes the most sense as well so he got a job offer somewhere in Sarasota at a <laughs> at a uh, aviation company in Sarasota, and so we moved there. But, okay. Yeah. So I so, so I so at that point you were still trying to get yes so become actively a trying, controller yeah. still very actually trying to become a controller. I was living at home and I was just like paying off student loans like so that was good but yeah you know the the men- <laughs> the mental strain of living at yeah. home. So you didn't have a job, but I did. I had okay. a job. So I. I was still working at Quality Assurance and Runway Safety. Okay. But in Sarasota? In Sarasota, I worked for a dermatology clinic. Oh, okay. Oh, completely different. It's completely different. <laughs> yeah. Because at that point, I was just trying to get a job. Now, I yeah. applied to the Tampa FISDO, but very FAA. It just took forever. Yeah. So, I wanted to find a job sooner because when we moved to Sarasota, we moved in with Jake's mom. Oh, okay. At that point, been together for like maybe two or three years we're so that weird area was like yeah. either this is going to go on for our, the rest of our lives yeah or i just left a great job to be with a guy yeah yeah <laughs> to like figure out what i'm gonna do with my life yeah so he started working at this yeah. helicopter yeah company. he told he told us about he wanted him to write uh like a whole op specs or yeah something. it was just and they wanted Pencil to do whip. crazy things with right. a chainsaw and 
Yeah. Yeah. Um, yeah. So, <laughs> so that, that was a, uh, a very interesting, you know, Jake's a, a big safety and not that I'm saying I'm not a big safety person, but that was, that's always been Jake's real. Kind of follow the rules to be yeah, safe. And, absolutely. And yeah. when he started explaining to me, he's like, yeah, he's like, if your mechanic pencil whips, you know, these numbers or like saying that they check this stuff, I was like, well, yeah, you don't want the mechanic to say like, I checked this engine when they have it and then you get into the air. Like, yeah. It's one thing if you're on like on the road. Yeah. Because you can pull over. Yeah. There's not a whole lot of no. pulling over. No. There's <laughs> especially in a helicopter, you just coming straight down. Right. Yeah. Well Jake would take me flying, so I knew he knew how to do handle emergency situations. Yeah. But you still don't want your loved one to be yeah. in that situation. Yeah, you want to fix the plane or helicopter. Yeah. You know, and, someone just yeah. do their job. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> That's right. <laughs> I feel like there's not a lot to ask. Yeah. Um, so we were in, we were actually in Sarasota for nine months exactly. Okay. So we moved down like in September. Was he still, where was he involved where, with the ATC stuff, like with the control and stuff? They're always very random bids when yeah. for ATC. So when we were in Florida, I think we moved there. We both got our jobs. We were both working around... November or so, a bid came out and we both applied for it. Okay. At this point, it changed a little bit. There's no more bio queue. Now it is just like submit your resume. If you get past the resume part, you know, HR would look at it. Then you go take the a do, test. Do you know what year this was? This was 2016. Um, well, they, the reason I asked is because at, at one time I tried, I thought, oh, let me go that route. But that oh, was. Really? Yeah, that was oh eight oh nine, when yeah. nothing was really going on with aviation and right, like there wasn't a hiring crisis anywhere. Like the yeah. pilots were fine, ATC yeah. was fine. It was an economic, yeah, downturn. So like no airlines weren't hiring, nothing was going on. So. Right. Yeah. And I had met some controllers in New Orleans. Okay. So I thought, oh, that might be a cool job. It it is a really cool job, you know, being on the on this side of it. I am envious of pilots for the the aspect of being able to go and see places. Yeah. We have, of course, like going to an aviation school, you have friends who yeah. became pilots. Crazy stories in Cancun. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Yeah. So, um, and I was like, oh, wow, like that's going to be so cool to like fly to like Berlin or yeah. like fly, to, you know, like, yeah, Chicago. Yeah. But it's someone who doesn't get to fly to Chicago unless I'm paying for it. Yeah. Hey, you know, like that's that's going to be fun. If you work for somebody. To where you're going to be there for a couple of days and you can check right. it out and stuff. Yeah. But there are definitely times where I'm like, I don't know if I'd want to just be a giant uh, bus driver. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Like, I mean, not to, obviously not to be an yeah. asshole about this, yeah. but like at some point, like that's, especially these guys like right now, like the commuters that you're just going from like Houston Intercontinental to Lafayette. Yeah. That would get boring yeah. real quick. Like, no, I don't want to do that. Yeah. And those guys are... It's a stepping stone. Right. To, like they're they're at the very beginning of their yeah. career and they're trying to move forward. But sometimes you can hear like the older pilots with them. Yeah. I guess like the first officer. I don't know. Well, the first officer, usually those are the new guys. Okay. So. And then the captain's. Really? The, okay. First officer and captain. Yeah. That makes sense. I captain's was thinking, the guy who's been there for a while. Yeah. I was thinking you'd be like first officer and second. I'm like you would call me the second. I'm the <laughs> yeah. oldest one there. Get yeah. out of here. No. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. That makes sense. Yeah. So yeah. So the captains are, you know, you hear them just kind of like, oh, they're, like, oh yeah, they're in training. I'm like. Dude, why are you in this? Yeah, that, what though? are you doing? <laughs> what are you doing? Are you retiring? Yeah. Hopefully you're retiring. Yeah. Also, this is what you're retiring doing? Yeah. Yeah. Pass. <laughs> so anyway, so we're so we're in Sarasota it's November. We both ap- apply because I'm nervous about what it's going to look like. Yeah. So there's no more bio queue. We both submit our resumes. We both get get through that process. Like, okay, now you get to take this test called ATSA. It's a psychological test. No, this is this is just like a this isn't everything test. Okay. All right. It is a math test. It is oh. a spatial awareness test. Oh. It is a psychological test <laughs> yeah. as well. The really annoying part is at the school I went to, because this is now the ATSA, they would help you prepare for the ATSAT, because that's what it used to be, like SAT. Yeah. Okay. Um, but the air traffic, let's just call it the air traffic SAT. I don't know what it all stands for. Yeah. But they stopped doing that because the FAA decided to hire off the street. So now they're doing this thing called the ATSA. Oh, yeah. <laughs> so I had all of this program to like to prepare myself for the ATSAT. Yeah. That was going to like that was your final exam. Yeah. And from that final exam, it's like, yeah, you're going to the academy for 
Good luck with life. Yeah. Figure something yeah. out. <laughs> go, go do something else. <laughs> right. <laughs> You're not cut out for this. Yeah. And so when we both get selected for it, there's two availabilities. We have to drive up to Tampa because normally you drive to a bigger city. Yeah. And it's like, okay, so you can do it like the week of Thanksgiving or the week before. And I think that was, that was like the only two options. Oh. I was like, hey, Jake, do me a favor. <laughs> <laughs> take it the week before and then I'll take it the week after you. Oh, yeah. And I didn't think about the fact that this man is a white man. Yeah. Veteran. Yeah. And he went into that. Yeah. <laughs> he yeah, yeah. he yeah. went into it like already passing, basically. Yeah. yeah. Like, oh, put your name down. Oh, okay, cool. Yeah. Um, <laughs> but he also like he's a pilot. Yeah. So that that gives him points as well. Yeah. Because you have aviation experience. In addition to all like those three things, you know, he he does have the, the spatial awareness because he's been doing this for yeah. the last four years. I think he graduated with a bachelor's degree, but he did it for like the last four years. So yeah. he can already kind of talk on the radio, knows what to expect right. and, from the controllers. And-, and he's a he's just a genuinely smart person. Yeah. He's a great like he did well in school. He's a great test taker. And I. <laughs> I survived. Yeah. <laughs> like that's, that's how you put my high school career. Yeah. It's like, if there was not sports there, I don't know. Don't like, know what else you'd do. Right. You wouldn't have made it. I would not be working <laughs> working a job with a lot of clothes. Yeah. Like, <laughs> I'm just joking, daddy. <laughs> Hopefully he doesn't listen. <laughs> he will not listen. Okay. Uh, but, you know, I'm sure my parents are like, oh, God, that's her future. <laughs> or we're taking care of that one. Like, I just, I'm more of a, this sounds so like trying to make everything like street smart person, like common sense yeah, wise. Yeah. I'm there for it. But for me to like sit down and buckle down and like study. Gotta try harder. Yeah. yeah. I am. How do I say this word? <laughs> Anonymity. 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 <laughs> right. Yeah. Uh, exactly. So <laughs> that's that's my form of like studying. And so Jake went in, took it. And he's like, oh, yeah, not bad. Here are a couple of things. Because there's one game. And I think I think it's a. No, I don't, it hasn't changed, actually. You are trying to make sure like these balls are not touching one another but there's also math at the very bottom so you're trying oh. to do that and so control these like objects so they, so they don't it's touch. on a computer huh? it's like, all on a computer okay and then it's also like not just like you know what's four plus four it's okay. like 328 you know minus and it's like do you get a calculator no oh no so there's been different iterations of this test yeah when we were preparing for this, I bought the study, like the study test prep for the at sat oh. because that was all that was out there. Yeah. Nobody had the uh, at. No one had. No one had the at sa. Uh, yeah. At sa. I wanted to make sure I said it right. <laughs> Doesn't matter. Stupid test. Yeah. <laughs> um, the test that we were studying for was not the test that we took. Yeah. Who did well on it? Jake. Jake. Just <laughs> adapted and overcome, which is what you'd want in a controller yeah. and in a pilot. Yeah. <laughs> Eventually, <laughs> four years later, I adapted it also for game. <laughs> so, you know, this goes on and, and Jake gets uh, his tentative offer letter, the TOL. Yeah. For school in Oklahoma. Great. I, he's and like, this is when he, he decided... When he got the letter, he it kind of happened the same time he was it, like, yeah, deciding to leave. He, yeah, he was deciding to leave that um, helicopter job. Yeah, at the same time they decided they were going to fire him. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> like <laughs> you clearly don't want to lie for us. We're going to let you go. And he's like, I don't want to lie for you. I like to be let go. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> so I like to leave. So he was actually just like hanging out, unemployed, and I was like, I need you to get a job. <laughs> I was like, Playing video games. Yeah, at like home. I, yeah. yeah, when I come home and you're just still like in your boxers, it's not, <laughs> I don't like this. Because I'm a pretty go getter, pretty ambitious yeah. person. So for him just to be sitting there, and, lo- and again, I left a very good job, not, yep, not a career in Atlanta, in yeah. Atlanta to do this. I was like, I could have just sent you money. This is what you're going to do. Yeah. <laughs> like, <I'm, laughs> like, I just come visit you. Like, <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> what are we doing? We're still like, trying to figure each other out we've yeah. been together for like two to three years this is now our first time like selecting a house or an apartment together yeah doing rent together is this what our marriage could look like yeah if you kind of you know stumble just being a bum yeah are, are you going to like not try to get back up yeah where i'm 
or do I have to like, hey, come on, like we yeah. got, like you know, I'm here to help. Yeah, but I need you to be kind of ambitious as well. Yeah. There's a gap in between, yes. right? From like, hey, okay, we're gonna hire you now to okay, you start on this day, right? So that and communication at that point could have been much better. Yeah, that was the main game plan. Yeah, he's like, oh, I'm not going to go get another job because I should be leaving for the academy soon. Yeah. So I got a but job. It's the government, so it takes right? A while. Exactly. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> exactly because he like went up to tampa a few times because you had to do like a drug analysis test yeah. had to do the psyche valve did they tell you what the next steps were or they no. just yeah no no okay. it's it very hush hush you'll figure yeah. it out as it comes and sometimes with your mmpi your psyche valve you can get tiered two which takes longer oh, but they okay. won't they don't always tell you that you're going to be tiered two because yeah. like you answered something weird you answered something about like killing your dad just a little too quickly oh <laughs> and we didn't like that like everything else took you about five seconds to answer yeah and this one took you two so yeah. we're, we're gonna make you take another test <laughs> yeah you're yeah. gonna go to the psyche bell and we're gonna really see what your daddy issues yeah. or like what, you know why do you think kids should see pornography You're like yeah. well i i don't I, but just, I don't but that just seemed like a really easy answer like no and yeah. we move on yeah. mm, but you answered it too quickly You're like yeah. what yeah. <laughs> did i did i i didn't realize i, I did that. Re- yeah. i didn't realize that no <laughs> like the whole game plan is for us to be as successful as possible yeah so i get a job at the FAA Academy. Okay. Yeah. As a remote pilot operator. Yeah. So oh, these, yeah. He explained what that is. Yeah. So these are the people who run the Sims yeah. for the controllers, either the controllers who are going through like what we do at Lafayette. So if you go through Lafayette, you go to the tower cab, you do tower first. Yeah. And then you go back to Oklahoma for radar training. Oh, so okay. you're already a controller. This is a, a pass pass course. Yeah. Or you work as an RPO for people who are trying to get like, continue a career at the FAA. Yeah. Like in either in tower sims or in the um, center sims. I get hired and I was like, okay, great. So I'm going to get in. I'm going to go do a tower sim, be a tower sim RPO. I'm going to, you know, learn these sims, learn the eval and help my man pass. Yeah. yeah. That's not how it worked. I started. <laughs> that was, that was my plan, but did not. Yeah. <laughs> they didn't want to. They didn't want to play along, yeah, yeah. which is rude. Yeah. Um, so I, I was hired, and I went through radar sims as an RPO. Oh, so okay. I was helping people who are already controllers, and it was yeah. a pass pass situation. But so at this time, like everyone looks older than me. Everyone looks like they've been doing this for years. The way they sound on the radio, they sound like they've been doing this for decades. Yeah. So I'm not really sure. I don't understand how I'm training somebody who looks like my age. Yeah. But clearly couldn't be my so, age. But you're like the simulated uh, as a pilot, right? Yeah, you're so, answering their. Yeah. Okay. So I'm calling them as a pilot. Yeah. I'm responding to them as a pilot. Uh, there's prompts for me to like to do yeah. like to stage an emergency or like request certain things yeah it is incredibly interesting but it's yeah. also helping me get better yeah yeah you'll be kind of prepared already but right. when you go to your trainer he eventually moves to oklahoma and we're both just kind of working these weird jobs i'm working as an rpo he gets a job as like a baggage handler yeah for the planes yeah that was, and sounds kind of cool <laughs> right but then he like imme- as soon as he gets hired for this job, he immediately gets promoted to like a supervisor, a manager. I'm oh like, yeah, <laughs> that's you right. You haven't even to... started yet. <laughs> yeah. like you're so. And they're like, oh yeah, but they saw like the fact that I was like, uh, I'm a veteran. I'm like, oh my, oh, my god. god. <laughs> <laughs> like, and I'm over here struggling, I'm and you're struggling. just there giving you stuff. Yeah, like, yeah. I'm, like, because there's not a lot of women, so like, I'm a minority being a woman. Yeah, I'm like Native American, Hispanic. I'm like all these like these like minorities like yeah you guys you should want to hire me and yeah. like Oof, but that white veteran <laughs> you're like oh really You've never seen one of those before yeah. crazy like that's so wild you were watching this like she hates the troops yeah <laughs> no, no she loves the troops she loves I troops. love them <laughs> um my marine is just I'm like why yeah. why are you gonna, it's like getting handed these things yeah <laughs> you did nothing you shut you signed up with like the most white name Jake Ross <laughs> that's not fair. <laughs> Like, my name's pretty white, too. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, they're like, oh, he's got a first name as a last name. I was like, yeah, you know, and that's how white it is. He could be Ross, Jake, or Jake Ross, whatever yeah. you want. He'll respond. He does that for, like, a millisecond. Yeah. He gets hired. He gets promoted. He makes more money. He's making more money than I am when I've been, like. And he was just playing video games. Just, just playing to- video games with his boxers. We yeah. move into, like, this one-bedroom apartment because. I found out that there were controllers who would 
because when you when you're at the academy for rtf for like the radar you're there for like a month and a half for tower and center school yeah it was the first first time employment it's three months or four months but our rent is so cheap and the fa is going to cover it oh so yeah. i was like oh this is where some controllers and rpos live we're going to live here and the fa will eventually cover our yeah. rent yeah so that way we're also saving money yeah <laughs> smart smart <laughs> yeah but like waiting for him to get hired um, yeah so he, i don't think jake even finishes his like training course for being a bag handler. he might have done like one or two shifts yeah and then <laughs> they, and the fa is like hey we've got a start date of september now this is like did he even tell them that he was trying to get in to the faa i or? don't think so because oh, okay. we yeah, talked you kinda, we talked about that and yeah. he's like should i tell him like no don't tell them yeah we <laughs> because need, they may not hire you right it's like we need you to make money yeah don't hurt us yeah. <laughs> <laughs> he's like well, you will be making money one way or another <laughs> yeah. so figure it out yeah september of 2017 is when he actually starts school okay <laughs> so like almost a year yeah of waiting for him yeah. to start and okay you you start school. Golly, the- we, yeah, we go through it. He he passes the um the intro course. Now he's in like tower sims. And so like it at first it's just uh everyone's walking around the airplane just practicing how to talk. Yeah. And before you actually get into like the simulated training, I am taping up our um coffee table that we still have, like to show the airport. Like oh. you're practicing. Yeah. You're passing. Yeah. You're not going to fail this. <laughs> And I feel bad because, like, now looking back, like, I added so much additional pressure. Yeah. Yeah. You're going to make my, this. I feel like my presence just was adding additional yeah. presence uh, pressure because, you know, it's one thing like, hey, I'm trying to encourage you to, to do this. You were also at school for, like, eight hours and you studied with your class. And now, I'm making, you know, you come home and you're not, like, relaxing. I'm like, hey, you want to study some more? Let's yeah. go to phraseology. Yeah. Y'all had taken the test. And right. then you're just waiting. You didn't even no. gotten a letter yet, have you? Oh, no. I failed. Oh. Yeah, they told me. Okay. You did not pass. Okay. So, and then Jake got his TOL. And again, like, this is why I feel like the additional pressure. So yeah, he, okay. So he gets, you know, he passes, he does well, he's waiting to start, and I'm just there trying not to wallow. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> and the fact, like, I didn't do it. Yeah. And, you know, the, the the whole spiral of, like, am I smart enough to do this? Yeah. Can I do this? Yeah, yeah. You go um, through all that stuff. Yeah. All this. And then I'm watching him do it and I'm watch, you know, I'm meeting his classmates and some of the stories are just like, oh, yeah, like, I don't know. I just saw like the bid. Like, I thought. I just saw an ad and I just Yeah, like, why not? I'm like, what? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. What? Some people are just really good test takers. And I, I chalk it up to now where like, I wanted it so bad that I'm going into these tests extremely nervous. Yeah. So I'm not like. You weren't relaxed and I'm, stuff. Yeah, yeah. I'm not on my best. Yeah. I am just probably you know messing up left and right and just like (laughs) you can't blame everyone else for being successful because you can't get your shit together yeah yeah (laughs) so jake goes through his course he passes but on his like last eval he's texting me and i'm working so now i'm working to the point where i'm an rtf so i do the radar simulator training i do the level 12 simulator training i'm doing the center uh training for the students and I can't get into the tower because the tower RPOs are just extremely selective because the, if you work as a tower RPO, you most likely run sims. Okay. Everyone else, like there's there's so many sims that like for you to get to the point where you're good enough to run their evals for like them getting a career or not yeah. is very selective. Yeah. I'm working just about everywhere. So I'm working everywhere that I do. So everybody knows you because you're all over the place. I'm all so over the place. Yeah. I'm working in T. So now I'm working like the level 12 simulator training for those radar controllers. And he's like, should I argue like, you know, I said A320 instead of Airbus 320. They're trying to take like this one point away from me. I was like, ask for it back. Like, yeah. you know, grieve it, do what you need to do. Yeah. I don't see that being in a big deal. I mean, as right. a pilot, I don't see. Yeah. Right. And, but it was like, that's what he was taught in class. He's like, that's what they told us to do in class. And yeah. like, now this instructor, because who teaches you throughout the process yeah. and then who grades you for the evals are completely different people. Yeah. Okay. It's um, like a check. I mean, it's like right. a pilot check. Yeah. yeah. So they, they bring in people who like, yeah. you might have seen on campus, but you don't really know who they are. Yeah. So he's like, they're marking me off of this. It's only like one point. I'm like, no, like you don't know what that point can do. Yeah. Yeah. Like that may stop you from being the very last person, which it did. Yeah. Or, you know, that might 
you know, mean you pass or fail. He's yeah. like, well, because my math is, and he's texting me this, and I'm like still working as a pilot yeah. <laughs> and like do because like we we do keystroke entries as well, so we we move the planes on the radar scope oh, as okay. well as well as talk to the the students. Yeah. Um, and we're not supposed to have our phones. Yeah. So. Yeah. Why well, was he with his phone? <laughs> well, like he can have his phone because oh, okay. he was done. But like I'm like actively working. Oh, okay. Yeah. Um, you know, it's simulated. Yeah. 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 Not <laughs> it's not a big deal. <laughs> it's fake. So you don't feel like your sequence is that good. Yeah. Maybe that was my fault. Maybe that was your fault. Who yeah. knows? <laughs> so we're talking. I was like, yes, grieve it. Like get your point back. Like tell them that's what you were taught in class. You know, make make your case. Yeah. So that is actually what's stopped us from being or us yeah <laughs> stop jake from being the last person in his class okay and the last person in his class is in nantucket right now oh yeah so because they they passed yeah but like since you're lo- like there's low they that's the the required location yeah because yeah. at some point like you get a list and it's like oh these are all your options and these are because you have 17 people in your class there are two locations or one location that are absolutely required yeah like someone has to go there so either you can be the last two people. So nobody wants to go there because, right. yeah, but you have, somebody has to. Someone go. has to go. Yeah. And the guy who got Nantucket was like, I don't know if I want to do this. Rightfully so. Yeah. I mean, that's <laughs> yeah. <laughs> like, he's still there. I mean, we're still at Lafayette. Yeah. So it's not like, but. It's not like there's a whole bunch of movement. Right. So he, he finished. He finished. Yeah. And then we moved here. <laughs> and and then, that was but, 2018. But, but you were. So- still, still waiting. Oh, okay. I'm still like, I'm, and like at this time there's, there's still bids coming out. Yeah. And so I'm applying for these bids. I'm getting to the point where I'm always taking the test. Yeah. I'm just getting to that test and I just can't jump that hurdle. Oh, okay. I thought you were already done when no. you got it. Okay. No, no, no. Like, oh, okay. I took a test in Tampa, yeah. Florida. I took one in Tulsa, Oklahoma. And then I took one in New Orleans. And the one in New Orleans I took by myself. There's no like there's no one else oh. <laughs> scheduled, and I passed that one. Okay, but that was I'm fucking miserable. <laughs> I mean, when well, I, I bet you were tired of taking it by that I'm time. So tired of taking yeah. it because again, like you're taking a test so many times, yeah. you start to feel dumb. Yeah, you're yeah. like, what's like, <laughs> what's wrong with me? What's wrong with me? <laughs> yeah. To make matters even worse, they they tell you it's like either like you did like I forgot what the, the words they use now, but see like you did well. You did very well, or you did like the best. So they'll tell you like, "Oh, you did well," but what could I improve on? Like they don't tell you yeah. like, "Hey, you know, you really struggled in like the personality quiz aspect of it," or like, yeah. you know, you your per- your spatial. You don't know words. what subject you're you're weak right. on. Yeah. So you think about like, okay, so then you get in your head like, "Oh, well, I'm not great at math. Clearly, yeah, I need to hyper focus on that." So that wasn't the issue. Mm-hmm. So I took the New Orleans one or the test in New Orleans. I just hyper focused on the personality. I made sure that my personality test was structured where my answers came out as like a pilot. Oh, yeah. Oh, Passed. and that got it. <laughs> Passed. And it's incredibly annoying. So at this point, so we moved to Lafayette 2018, like J- January when we celebrate New Year's in Shreveport. Oh, moved- yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <He> told- yeah. <laughs> we moved down here. Didn't y'all stay at the casino? I think so. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. I don't know why I remember that. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> of course you remember yeah. that. Um, and we have like three days to find an apartment. And I have to, and I had to fly back to Oklahoma and keep working until Oh yeah. My my two weeks is up. Oh yeah. Um because again, I'm not trying to burn bridges. Yeah. This is the this is where everyone this goes. This is where you want to work anyway. Right. Yeah. yeah. Uh, this is where everyone goes to like so these people I'm trying not to be rude to. Yeah. Even though I'm over their shit. Yeah. <laughs> like they're gonna be the people who work my evals yeah eventually when i get in if i ever got in you yeah. know that, that's what i was thinking so i'm like okay uh, yeah no you're you're still super funny yeah. <laughs> <laughs> i uh, like i like to leave now yeah, yeah. <laughs> so you know move down here i get a job with phi for offshore so i'm still working on the radio i'm trying to get jobs oh, where okay. I'm, you're like a dispatch yeah, yeah. So I'm, I'm trying to get jobs where i'm on the radio so i don't lose that edge because as we know if people don't talk on the radio very often, yeah, it gets real bad. Yeah, Jake proposes to me. Okay, he probably knows this real good. Uh, oh, you're the one who's supposed to know. This. <laughs> He's real sweet. <laughs> He's totally, he does this like in November because it's like right before Thanksgiving, and it. I want 
November 2018 because we get married in, yeah, 2019 because we want to get married in 2020. There you okay. go. <laughs> I figured this out. All I don't right. need you guys. <laughs> I don't need your help. <laughs> don't cut that out. Yeah. <laughs> um, so he proposes to me in November. And at that point, I've already taken the test. There's another bid comes out. I go, but when we go to, to go to New Orleans to take this test, the hotel we're staying at, they're doing construction. So the people above us are some of the crew. Oh. And they will not shut up. <laughs> and I'm already anxious and like yeah. nervous. Yeah. And now these people just like won't stop partying until like 3 a.m. Oh, really? And I had, to, I had to get up at like That's 7. New Orleans. Yeah. yeah right. <laughs> and I had to get up at 7 and go take this test. Yeah. And I'm just annoyed like, that yeah. just annoyed and yeah. i think that's like really was like the motivation that helped me i was like i'm just so over it yeah at this point like i'm you to get hired before you're 31 oh yeah yeah uh, so i'm like 28 or something yeah. 27 28 and i'm just trying to figure out do i need to keep trying or do i need to find a new career yeah like at this point we need to figure something out we need to shit get off the pot yeah yeah <laughs> like yeah. I, I mean because like do i need to go like fi- go back to school and figure out what i need to do with my life yeah or can i do this yeah so then you ended up passing and ended up passing yeah and i was like well, that's good and then <laughs> yeah. jake proposes to me and then when he proposes to me where we went down to florida in december to go like see his family tell his friends on our way back up we're like stuck in traffic on 75 and I get my tentative offer letter. Oh, nice. And yeah. <laughs> and I'm bawling in yeah. the car. Because, like, I mean, I was just very excited to get engaged. Yeah. But, like, <laughs> but I'm more excited. <laughs> my I'm dreams a- are coming <laughs> true. <laughs> That's our joke is I wasn't. I got hired because I decided to attach myself to a white man. Yeah. Like, because <laughs> yeah. it was right before Thanksgiving. So, like, end of November and then, like, early December, I got my... uh tentative offer letter yeah <laughs> and we could not get to my sister's house fast because like they like tell you like okay you know here's here this is you have like 24 hours or 48 hours to respond yeah because you had to like you had to print it off check it sign it and, oh, then, and then scan re- it back right, yeah, yeah. Well, like fax it back in fax because it, it's fax. like the 1980s oh apparently. yeah i was who uses a fax <laughs> right the <laughs> faa still <laughs> i was like jake he's like it's an accident what do you want to go around them <laughs> go, go through the grass, go through the grass. Not, yeah. it's florida yeah <laughs> there are no rules here just do it uh so yeah so we get it and like we're very you know super excited we come back to work everything's everything's great i get offered a center oh slot. no so i was gonna go to a center school oh no so for that's four months so how'd that work out? I mean, I, I, mean, I know you're here, so right. but so it, you didn't go. <laughs> uh, clearly, didn't go that route. <laughs> clearly, didn't go to center. Um, but uh, so I called the FAA. Like I called the head. Uh, married my, to my, a white man veteran. <laughs> <laughs> my white man's located here. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um, but that's basically the conversation. I yeah. talked to my HR person. I was like, hey, you know, like my husband, and I'm calling my husband because yeah. like I'm trying trying to make this sound more like serious and like my yeah. my boyfriend my yeah. fiance because every job i got between uh the fa contract job to <laughs> the phi job it was like my husband yeah because i was like no one's gonna like my boyfriend like okay girl <laughs> go back home but i was like yeah I mean, my husband is a controller at lafayette air traffic control yeah. tower and like oh a tower i was like yeah I was like you know so a center sounds good but is there a way i can be guaranteed like cute like yeah. pending i pass houston center or something close by and again yeah. that's still like a four-hour commute yeah yeah uh, and jake's like i was just like i don't want us to commute our first year of marriage okay that's <laughs> sweet i get that he likes this job but this is not what he wanted to do yeah. so to me like if i can be the breadwinner and you can start flying again and i can help pay for that let me do it yeah. let me be your sugar mama yeah <laughs> and so that's still the mentality like let me help you yeah. do this I'm like oh well you know we'll just change you to a tower class i'm like oh okay great like yeah there might be a delay i was like oh cool uh, i've been I- delayed a long <laughs> time now i've been delayed for six years <laughs> yeah. but no no take your time yeah <laughs> I don't want to. I don't want to rush you guys. Yeah. <laughs> Scare you off. So they they found me a tower class, pretty easy. But at that point, like the whole structure of these these classes changed because Jake was in a in a class of eighteen and nineteen people, and I was in a class of six. Oh, so they're wow because the the fail rate was just skyrocketing. Yeah, and like oh, we should try something else. Let's try a smaller. I mean, it's just like the very stereotypical 
school classrooms, like yeah. 20, te- 20 kids to one teacher, to one teacher yeah. that's really not the best for people who are yeah, struggling. Yeah, some people, yeah, they yeah. just don't get it. They need more attention. Right. And yeah. so I was like, oh. I, mean, I can do well in a small class. And yeah. I did do well in a small class. Yeah. So we, and, you know, I went the whole program. And besides the guy who was like already an Air Force controller, so oh, he he, be, he was in your class. Yeah. Yeah. Because like the prior military people, they could either get direct hired or they can have more options. Because when you get direct hired, you only have like a, a select number of um, facilities to choose from. Yeah. Or you can go through the hiring pro or like the FAA the training academy yeah. school. And get more options. Okay. That's why he did it. So that's why he did it. Yeah. And when he did that, he like, he beat me by like half a point. Oh. So he was number one in his, cl- in our class. Oh no. <laughs> so I like to tell people I was number one in my class because like, he, you shouldn't even be there. Yeah. Yeah. And you shouldn't have beat me for like half a point. Yeah. You've been doing this for the last four years. Yeah. Like you have four years of experience on me <laughs> with live traffic. Yeah. This is all I've ever done. Yeah. But I would get in trouble with PHI all the time because they're like, we're not allowed to give like vectors when oh. you're a dispatcher. Yeah. Because I'm not technically certified to do that. Yeah. I could just tell you about weather and I'd be like, oh, I, you know, I recommend a heading of 330. So you change your terminology. <laughs> yeah. yeah. So when I got here, they're like, that's not how you say it. I'm like, probably not. So yeah. <laughs> let me fix that. <laughs> yeah. But yeah. So passed. And then I went straight to Lafayette. Okay. And been there since like August of 20. 20- 19. <laughs> I didn't think oh, about that. Are you sure? Yeah. <laughs> I didn't think about it. Because we got married really quick. We got married in March. Okay. I went to school like uh we we like May, early May. Well, I remember you like probably the first time I've uh met you was at uh um, Ed's retirement. Yeah. Yeah. Because I remember seeing you there and I don't remember. Probably real what, mean. Huh? That's probably real mean. Yeah, I remember yeah. you being real mean. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> I don't do well on first impressions. <laughs> well, no, I, so I, I didn't, I knew Ed and mm. I don't remember. I, I probably knew some other controllers, but not yeah. that many. There are a few like older controllers there as well. Yeah. Well, there was actually, there was a pilot, helicopter pilot that I had trained that showed up that I hadn't seen oh, in a few years. That's cool. Ed uh, sent me a Venmo request yesterday for $2 for bread. <laughs> Why? I just he was a, here yesterday. He came and had coffee. That's yeah. so funny. I was like, "Why do you need bread?" Yeah, and he's like, "I'm just hungry." I was like, "You make more money than I do." <laughs> he's like, "Okay, well, how about four dollars for coffee?" I was like, "In this economy, <laughs> <laughs> I was like, stop letting your kids take your money." So I sent him two dollars. I'll pay you back st- as soon as I can. I was like, you're so stupid. Oh Every now and then, I'll send him a Venmo request for like a yeah. dollar or something for being a good friend. And he's like, "You're, but you were mean to me today." I was like, like I said, for like being, I said yeah. for being a good friend. I guess that was in 2019 because I remember you just getting certified. You were talking about that to the other controllers. Yeah, and so I don't know if that was radar or tower. Or so like, that was tower uh, probably okay. only um, because when I finished up tower, the pandemic happened. So I got a year and some change of seasoning as a tower controller. Oh, okay. You know, I, I was supposed to go to back to Oklahoma for radar training. And at my ATM at the time was like, oh, what about March 9th, which is my birthday? And I was like, yeah. how about no? Yeah. <laughs> how about no? And he's like, okay, the next one's like March like 20th. And our first wedding anniversary was March 23rd. And I was like, yeah. again, how about, hear me out, <laughs> no. how about no? no. Yeah. <laughs> uh, and so he's like, you got to go. I'm like, I plan on going. Yeah. And but you're picking all these days that are- You're picking these terrible days yeah, that yeah. just don't work for me. <laughs> well, I actually went out for my birthday March 9th, and the NBA, I think they, they just canceled all like their final games. Oh, because um, of COVID. Because of COVID. Yeah. There's something that happened to like, the stock market or something. It, was, like, it wasn't great. And they're like, in COVID. And I was like, oh, ooh, yeah. happy birthday. Yeah. <laughs> 29? <laughs> uh, so, like, yeah, that was- I don't know, maybe it was 29. Who yeah. knows? And then I got a year of seasoning as a tower controller before I went to radar school. And then went to radar school. Yeah. Now I'm certified. Yay! Yay! I did it! <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> 
If you made it this far, you listened to the entire episode. And for that, we would just like to say thank you, and we hope you enjoyed it. We would also like to thank Alexandra Ross for joining us today and sharing her story. If you have any questions about today's episode or suggestions for future episodes, just leave a comment or message us, and we'll do our best to answer. If you'd like to check out some fun aviation videos, subscribe to our YouTube channel at Owens Flight Training. Or if you'd like to get more information on becoming a safe, knowledgeable, and confident pilot, just head over to our website, owensflighttraining.com. 